Hi. Do you want to know why I believe Trish Paytas is a trans man and she just uses her female body for money? I don't know if I have to tell you because I think me just saying that gets the point across. It's easier to make money when you look like this, right? I'm 28 and on July 14th I'm going to go see a breast cancer surgeon because they found lumps in my left breast and my left armpit and nodes all along my neck and behind my ears. So I don't know if this is the right time, but there's no better time than now. And it wasn't like I was making much money being a girl. So if Trish Paytas is making whatever the fuck she wants to make, being a woman online, acting, in drag, because nobody believes that she wants a transition, or respectfully, she doesn't want a transition, and this is her job. God gave her a body and she's working it. The one thing that I can't endorse Trish Paytas on, even though I do love and respect her, if she chooses him, then I love him too. Like, I don't know because I haven't been able to get that type of content right now, but I will. Um, what happened with Dissociated I Identity Disorder channel, like Did's channel, what happened with Nin was, was really, it was... It was disgusting, and it wasn't something, as a trans man, being a woman for money, I can endorse at all, uh, especially because I have mental health conditions, and I have at times thought, yeah, maybe I do have that, like, that makes a lot more sense than being a man trapped in a woman's body, like, nobody believes you. So, that reaction that Trish had uh, towards in especially was deep-rooted repressed mental health phobias of just nobody believes me that's not fair internalized thoughts and then lashing out on a platform where she has a lot of where he has a lot of followers and um, that's a beautiful thing that they can have that public voice but um, What's not great is where they live, and I'm sorry that I have to be the one to say this, but as somebody with mental health conditions, watching that unfold was devastating, because I know that Nin has to play, pay, like, did Dissociate ID has to pay out of pocket to get any type of mental health recourse for what happened on a public platform that is essentially their job, so they were hurt at work. Um, bullied by somebody who was undereducated and repressed, um, who also is on, a pla on the same platform and doing the same job. So it was technically a fight between two colleagues. Um, both of them suffered immense mental health trauma due to it, and the whole world saw, and that has a very big mental health effect on people. And um, in America, there are no free mental health programs, and especially at this time, during coronavirus, during isolation, during protocol, it's important that resources remain open. I know a lot of my resources were cut, resources when it came to reporting, resources when it came to just being able to talk to somebody about it, um, and thankfully the OPP are taking it seriously for me, and I'm going to be meeting with them after the uh, breast surgery appointment on the 14th. Um, I will be advocating to have them removed immediately, uh, both of them, no matter what. Um, like, this is what I did to survive. Um, I don't want to keep living this way. I've asked for this many times, and it's unfortunate that it's come to a literal breast cancer scare, if not breast cancer itself, for me to get a mastectomy. Um, I think like this should be a learning lesson to please listen to people when they tell you something and not just disbelieve it. 
um, it takes a lot of courage to own up to a truth like that and come forward and trust one person, let alone the internet. Um, so yeah, like Trish, like you're loved and you're valid and you're a man doing a woman's work and like that's valid and like I've been doing it for years. Um, I've had to to survive. There was no way I could possibly come out as a guy with my high school, my, my hometown, my work life, like, it, there was never any time for me anyway, so I'm 28, potentially have breast cancer, my breasts are going to be removed no matter what, if this doctor doesn't want to do it, I will find another doctor who does, um, I also want a hysterectomy, just because I've been pregnant three times, and uh, I know as a man, it's not something that I'm comfortable doing. Um, it's not my place to carry a child, and even though I can, I don't feel like it would be healthy for my men for my brain, um, for my gender dysphoria, for my body dysmorphia, uh, for anything, because I've already gone through that three times, and it's all ended with abortion, um, which is why I am both pro-choice and pro-life. Both are equally valid and important and should be the exact same. Like, you should feel that, yes, like, she is a dude and she got pregnant and she never wanted a baby because in reality like I never want to carry a baby either and I'm a guy and I get that and yeah no no shit like if I was a guy trapped in a woman's body and I was pregnant and feeling all these hormones I'd get an abortion too like I'm the person saying that because I went through it like this isn't a trip um, like this is real life for me like these are coming off um, the only reason I have this is to make money. Like, I don't see why that's, uh, unbelievable. Like, I have a great body, and I know that because I'm a guy. <laughs> like, hi, I'm Billy, and I've been presenting as Madison Mary Turner my entire life because that's what I was taught to do as a young actress, actor, model, or whatever before my personality formed. I was taught to be somebody else, to always pretend, and I watched thousands of movies and did everything they did because that's what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, like, it's always felt like a job. It's my full-time job is to just to pretend to be somebody that is safe in the world because the real me is not safe and I've learned that through hate crimes and abuse and yeah. So. Thanks for tuning in, and I really hope that Dissociate Identity Disorder becomes very much more valid on the YouTube platform, and I also hope that being a trans man who is working as a, as a sex worker online, like Trish Paytas is, and is doing it successfully, should also be valid. I don't agree with her points of view on many things, however, who she is and who he is and what they're doing... Um, for a living is completely normal and like I've been also been doing it I just don't share the same points of view um, and I think that's important and like hi I came out and said it like my name's Billy like I watched way too much Adam Sandler as a kid I didn't want to be a Happy Madison production anymore so I decided to be Billy True Skidmore like what's up like I'm your troll doll bitch